Okay, this video is going to be all about Visual Basic 6 naming conventions. Now, what are naming conventions? Well, naming conventions are really uh, the very important parts of computer programming. It's where you distinguish different um, types of uh, Visual Basic control within your code. Um, so if I'm using a text box, um, looking at my code, I'm always going to know that it's a text box that I'm referring to. If I'm using a label, I'm always going to know it's a label I'm referring to. Uh, if I'm using a um, combo box, I am always knowing it's a combo box that I'm looking at in my code. So it's a very important part of coding. Um, it's a difficult discipline to uh, try to master, but if you do master it, you save yourself loads of headaches in the future if you come across problems in your code. It's not just about identifying and differentiating um, Visual Basic controls, it's also about um, doing the same thing with variables, knowing what sort of data is stored in the variable. So let's have a look at um, some of the different formats, some of the naming conventions that we'd use. The different controls um, that are standard in Visual Basic. We've got a picture box which can be very useful. I'm just going to make my form a bit bigger here. I'll try and pop on um, some of all of the controls. So draw on a picture box. Can be obviously used to store images, pictures, um, but is really useful to helping organize big um, Visual Basic projects. And I would use the naming convention PIC as a prefix. And then just give it the name that I want to call it. So there we go. Pick main. And then if I gave it a particular color, and changed it back again, or changed it to something different, then in my code, when my form loads, I want pick main dot back color equaling the code for red. And see how it automatically changed it there. And then when I run, um, I've got a red background. But what I'm really getting at is when I'm looking at my code, I'm always knowing that it's a picture box that I'm referring to in my code. This is a label. Labels are very useful for displaying information on a screen. And I would use the prefix LBL. So when my form loads, I just forgot the uh, property that I'm going to use, which is caption. Of label, so again, I, I know that's definitely a label because I can see it's prefixed by LBL when I run it. Other controls, frames are a bit like picture boxes in that they're very useful for organizing content in a larger application, and I would use FM for a frame. Uh, for a text box, we've already seen in a previous video. That I would use TXT for that one. Um, this is a button. And to give it its proper name, it's a command button. So I would use CMD as the prefix for that one. Uh, check boxes are very useful, these little tick boxes. And I would use CHK option buttons, very useful, or radio buttons, we might know them as. OPT drop down lists, also known as combo boxes, and known as combo boxes in VB6. CBO. List boxes will appear um, in a different way. So it's a bit like a combo box, which is a drop down list. But a list box is uh, just a, a list instead of it dropping down. 
and I would use LST. Um, I've never used scroll bars before. A timer, you generally only have one timer in a VB6 application, so I always just leave it and call it timer1. Um, a drive list box would show us all the drives on our computer, and I would use DRV. A directory list box would show us the values or the folders in a directory, and I would call it DIR main, DIR being the prefix. And then you've got this one here, which is a file list box, and I would use FIL. Image is the only other standard one that I would generally use, and um, if I wanted a nice skinny tall image in here, I could use that, and that would be IMG. So all these fixes are very important, um, but it's not just prefixes or controls that's important. Um, also very important in your code is when you're declaring variables, giving those prefixes as well. Now they're going to be different from the control prefixes. So if I wanted to get the value from the text box, I might have a variable to help me with that. Um, because it could be any sort of text entered in the text box, I'm going to have it as a string and use the prefix of uh, S. So I always know when I'm referring to um, the value variable that it's a string because it's got an S in front of it. String data type. Uh, other data types that should be um, should have naming conventions. A popular one that you're going to use is going to be uh, I for integer, which allows you to store large numbers. Uh, to allow you to store even larger numbers, you'd use L as long. To store small numbers, anything under 255, you would use BT. And that stands for byte. Uh, other popular ones include the B variable, which signifies a Boolean value, a true or a false. Um, there will be others as well, but those might be some of the main ones that you use. Um, and it's important like I say, so whenever we're debugging or looking at code, we know that's a, a, a boolean. So it's either going to be true or false that is stored in there. So a little bit about naming conventions, and you should try and stick to naming conventions the best you can because it's really going to help you a lot in the long run.